Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a Timu haul for you today. And the coffee. Like always from a Timu, these items were sent to me, but their opinions, the opinions are my own. Now, if you click in the description box below, there is a 30% off coupon for your first order. If you haven't ordered before, you do get free shipping, free returns. Yeah, so it's kind of um, a great deal for us all. And let's get started. Okay, I can't remember if this is a big one or not, so we'll just do the little things first. And we'll start there. Oh, earrings. So I have decided, I think there's four of these, that I needed, well, maybe not four, earrings. So these are in a gold tone. And I think I've said before, if you have an issue with fake gold and stuff, you can paint the back with like um, clear nail polish. Sorry, my allergies are terrible. Look at those. They're just little hoops. I do love a hoop. And I think I figured out why I love hoops so much. My I pierced my second holes on myself and they don't go in straight. And so you can kind of tell that they're at an angle. I'm not fixing it now, I did it in high school. But I think hoops is less noticeable. <gasps> Look at these. Oh, hold on, I got a hook. I got one that's caught, there we go. <gasps> Aren't those pretty? Look at those. Butterflies on the hoops. We have some snakes, some butterflies, and then these big hoops. I don't wear anything that large, but I think those are adorable. With the little, um, I'm assuming it's like a fake mother of pearl. Maybe it's real. I don't know. Ah, but we got a mother of pearl there, which I think is pretty cool. So that set, and I believe the price is for all three sets. I don't quite remember. And then we have this set. Uh, just more, more gold hoops. And some of these on the back have the, um, where it snaps up and holds them on. But I like these. Oh, can't see, these are tangled. There we go. I mean, they're a costume. Not real for sure, but fun. You know, oh, I love these rope ones. They so remind me of like the 90s. So I got a three set of that. And then I got this bracelet. We'll put it on and I will show you. I just think jewelry can be so fun and it doesn't have to be expensive at all. I know. So this, which is nice about this, is you just put it on and squeeze it. And they're like hexy stones. And it is a stone of some sort. But if you do it tight enough, because what I don't like about bracelets is if there's something heavy on the top, it ends up on the bottom. But on here, I can just, and now it won't. You know, I like it. That is fun. Let me get it off. And then you just bend it to make it fit. Here, how about if I dump all of this out? Right, right, okay. Then I got a set of these, and they're keychains, and they are, let me take them out. I should have done this before. Here, I, I came in two colors. Variations, there we go. So, oh, they're super cute. So you have a keychain with a little rainbow with the blue, pink, and cream, and then the pink, yellow, and blue. Aren't they adorable? I think these would make, besides great keychains, I think they would make fantastic zipper pulls or really anything. And I ended up getting multiples. I don't, I think they sent to me extra because I got three extra, but I believe I just ordered where you got one of each. I love it. And I love the key ring, which I might use these for something different. I don't know. We might get crazy. 
So now I can put these back in. But I'm going to share all these things with the people in my life, right? That's what I do. I'm putting all this away. That's what I use these Timu bags for. Store all the little things. This is a shirt I got from Timu. It's super comfortable. Guys, it is freezing today. Freezing and cold and rainy. And it's... I'm filming this in April. I know. These are everything. I hope you can see it. It is a black cat in a coffee cup. What? Now, I can't decide if I want to leave them as earrings or if I want to snip this off and put a magnet on the back and make them a needle minder. I know. It's a black cat in a coffee cup. That is my life. I think I need to make these needle minders. I think so. So I'll leave these out. Take care of that little business. Um, the one thing I wish is that we didn't have so much plastic with all this stuff. Like I feel like everything could have been put in one bag, but what do I know? What do I know? These are cute. They're vintage faux turquoise it's it's definitely not real turquoise nor is it real silver but again super fun I love that I love fun summer earrings and these the price I mean you cannot beat the price for a pair of earrings that I mean I would spend way more on okay this I love it has the clip back which I like and these are peacocks I don't know if you're gonna see that oh there's like a little peacock in there these are fun too for summer Let's put these away so we're not losing everything and the last thing I got which I'll put back in this bag because they're tiny they are little cherry blossoms and they're just a stud. And it's just a sparkly. Yeah, maybe that's better. Ooh. Focus, focus. Just a sparkly little stud. And I love it. Because I love putting studs in my second holes. So yeah, I'll leave these out. So I think these will get lost in space. Okay, so that was all the jewelry, I think, in this one. And then the other thing I purchased. Now, these are technically key rings. But in the cross-stitch world, I use them for um, putting my floss ring. It's a floss ring. So, it, let's see here. Here we go. So, it's plastic-covered metal on a ring. And you just tighten it on. And it's all different colors. And I thought they were great. I was going to buy them on Amazon for my cross-stitching stuff. Um, I like the metal rings too, but these are larger, which is nice if you have a lot of fabric. I'm sorry, a lot of floss. And you get purple, gold, blue, silver, green, and red. So you get seven of them which is a very good, pro oh, I'm sorry, and black. Now they sent me two sets, but that's okay. I know, good price too. These are great for all kinds of situations, if you will. Okay, we got some clothing in here. We got this pink t-shirt. I got the 3X, it fits me well. I have put it on. The only thing is I don't love it, it's a little staticky. But I got the shirt and it does come with pants. And these pants have pink down the side. And I think this is a fun just lounge outfit. And I love that there's the black and pink and the pink and black. <laughs> and they're super comfortable. These are definitely like lounge wear in my life. I will wear those about the house like now because I'm freezing. I bought this. Let me just tell you one thing. It is a, like a girdle really. A, a, 
You can wear it as a tank top. You can wear it as a girdle. What I love is that the suctiony part for your body is right where I need it in the middle, right there. Now I'm a long torso and this works. I have to put it on the longest snap and in the crotch and it is, there is a cotton crotch in here and it does kind of ride up on the sides. I don't really care. It fits me beautifully. This is the three extra large, again, um, adjustable straps. Now, uh, this is not enough of a bra for me, but I will wear a bra under this. I just want this for the support. If you are comfortable not wearing a bra, this is a tank top that also sucks you in. I know. And for the price, you cannot beat it. Now, is this Spanx quality? No, but I can't breathe in Spanx, so I'm not wearing that. This, I can breathe. But if you can see where the ridges are in the center, let me see if I can get you a better view this way, where the ridges start right here to here, that is where it's sucking you in. And if you're an apple shape, girl, you need this in your life. I love this and I cannot wait to wear it, especially under like silky shirts that shows all my bumps and, and stuff. We don't need any of that in my life. Do I have more clothes in here? I do. Let's do clothing. Do clothing. This I was I bought for curiosity's sake. I have seen these shirts on many, 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 many other websites, and it's supposed to be a linen. It's not linen. It's a. It's like a cotton. I would have to guess. I did upsize because I knew there was zero stretch. It fits me well. It's nice and long. I would say I would wear this with leggings if I lose a little more weight. My issue is I'm broad in the shoulder. That's a me thing, not a shirt not of this shirt thing. Um, and I will probably iron and stitch or something, the little inside here, the facing kind of pops up a little bit. Other than that, this is a great shirt. It's super cute. They do come in different colors. I got a, like a mauve dust, a, a really light mauve color and I love it. And if I lose a little more weight, I'll be wearing this in the uh, fall with some leggings because it's nice and long and it's super comfortable. It does require ironing. It's a linen, it's a linen, let's call it that. Right, right. Um, this, no, this is just a hard no. First of all, I don't even, it's supposed to be a summer dress, which I mean, it is, but it's, it's this weird, weird polyester fabric. It fits me. Um, I think it is dangerously close to some cultural appropriation that I'm not, I'm not about. Um, in the picture, it definitely looks more cottony flowy and in real life it is not. So this is just something that is not in my life. However, it is a moo moo. So if you want to wear it like a moo moo, you can. Um, that would be a return for me. This shirt here, I do enjoy a lot. Um, two things. One, good luck figuring out the front and the back. There's no tag. I think this is the front. It is very long. Let me show you. Like, I will wear this as a beach cover-up. And it has the fringe at the bottom and then the fringe on the sleeves. I love it. You can wear this with leggings. Um, this fabric here is more of like a silky fabric. It does have stretch to it, which is nice. Um, I think this would look great with like some biker shorts. Uh, yeah. And if you're tall or a long torso, this would be perfect. I just don't know which way is front. That's annoying. But it's super cute. And yeah, I like it. I think it would look really fun at the pool, to be honest with you. I have pool on the brain because... If the weather ever turns nice, my pool will open. Um, kind of sad about this shirt. It fits. It's my size. It, I mean, the, the sizing is great. It's another one of that satiny, silky fabric. And I was really hoping it was cotton. It's not. And I don't know how this is going to wear. So we'll try. I love the color. I love the detail here in the front. I just wish they gave more... And maybe I missed it, but more description, I would say. But 
again, I mean, it's not bad quality and the stitching is really good. It's just not the fabric I was expecting. But yeah, this is really cute. And I think it would look great with like some, some gray or pear denim. Yeah, I love it. And yeah, I'm gonna wear it. I just am nervous. I'm not, I've never worn this fabric before. But I like it. I think that's it for clothing. Um, but we're gonna do it. Go ahead and put my tiara on. I sure did order a tiara. Sure did. It's squeezing my head out. Let's tight um, loosen it up a little bit. There we go. Because when I go to Ireland, friends, I'm gonna go to a castle. And don't you think I need? I loosened it too much. So this is fun. It is metal. It is a substantial tiara. It even has here where you put the um, bobby pins through if your hair is like up in the bun or something. It has the little crystals in it. I got the champagne color. There we go. I mean, don't you feel like if I go to a castle that I need to bring this? I think so too. Let's leave it on for the duration, shall we? Okay. So I grabbed one of these belly bags, fanny pack, belly bag, whatever you want to call it. Great quality. I love the quilted detail of it. You have a small little pouch down here. And then you have a second section that goes all the way down up here. And I love it. Here's the one problem. It's too tight. Like I can't wear this. Now I'm a 16 pants. Even at its longest stretch, it's just too small for me. Again, that's a me problem, not this problem. The quality is fantastic. And I will give it to my cousin or her daughter, who I think will get a good use out of it if she likes it. I got the navy blue color. Look at that gold zipper. I mean, it is, it is quality. It just doesn't fit me. Um, and I would feel very comfortable keeping my things in here while traveling or whatnot. I guess I could wear it as a crossbody, but I just feel like that trend is weird because it cuts my boobs in half. I'm not about that life, but this is adorable. Um, I would just say if you're a smaller circumference than a size 16, you should be okay with it or for like you're a younger person, but it's great. And the zippers are like spot on. There's no stopping, no teeth not wanting to close. The zippers are great. It's fantastic quality. Just a little small for me, but that's fine because I have people in my life. If I wear this in Ireland, I'm going to have to bring some bobby pins. Okay. I got shoes. The last pair I ordered were a little too big, so I went down a half a size. And quite frankly, I could probably go down another half size. But these are just, I don't know, tennis shoes. I mean, they're not athletic. They're definitely decorative. But it is very mesh and airy, which is great. Uh, these would be fantastic water shoes. I'm just going to throw that out there because I feel like the whole surface is plastic. There's not like... I don't feel like in the inside it would get mushy if it got wet. I feel like these would be really good water shoes or just fun summer shoes. I'm totally wearing these this summer with a cute little outfit. They're very roomy, so if you have a wide foot. And I kind of appreciate that like Timu and some of the other brands are understanding that um, the standard U.S. sizes are very different as far as, you know, foot size and things like that. And you just put them on. There's no tying involved. These are the great slip on and go. No socks required. Good quality. I mean, they're, you know, yeah, I'd wear them. I will wear them this summer with jean shorts. Perfect. Perfect. Um, if you saw my other Timu haul, and I told you that I had a friend who has chickens, and um, she's actually my my boss, but she's a friend too. She has chickens at her house and her birthday's coming up. Sure to get her a chicken purse. Guys, I'm dying. I am dying. It is a chicken purse. It is like a unstuffed stuffy. It's soft. This chicken wing, there's a pocket. 
I'm dying. I was like, she can go get those chicken eggs in here. Inside, it's um, it does not fill the whole inside of the chicken. Like it only goes about halfway down, which is okay. And then that's a side you would wear up against your body. So I would say like, it goes down to this foot and about almost to the butt. Hmm, those are my tooth. It's hysterical. Um, zipper, mm, it's plastics, but I mean, nobody's really wearing this. This is not going to get a heavy use, but I'm dying. Her chicken, and I think they have it in rooster colors too. So we have a chicken bag and somewhere around here, I have chicken earrings that I need to find and put in the chicken bag. I know guys, right? Right? I'm dying. Ah. So, and then I'll get her a gift card and put it in the pocket probably. <laughs> But I am dying with that. Okay, empty, empty. Two more items. Number one, I have been looking at these on all the sites. And I finally was like, I just need it. So my backpack that I will use for travel um, doesn't have a lot of pockets on the inside. Which I, is fine, but I need something to keep all my little bits and bobs in. And this was going to fit the bill. Now, on the side, there are snaps. So if you want to keep it closed and just use it not open or they unsnap, which is what I will do. And this will just slide in your purse. It'll slide. I don't know what that was all about. It'll slide in your purse. It will slide in a backpack. And then you have little handles so you can pull it out if you want to transfer it to different purses. You have a mesh pocket on this side. And then you have deeper pockets to store things. On the top, you have, and these are coat zippers, so they're nice and chunky. And I think it's water resistant, so if something were to spill. But these are great zippers on the top. And you have a, the same thing on the other side. So you have a big zip here. You have your mesh. And this side has like smaller mesh pockets. So for like pens, nail files, things like that, where this side would hold a phone or larger items. So smaller on the mesh pockets are a little smaller on this side. They're divided, which I love this one for pens. And then the inside holds a whole bunch of stuff. And so like for me, this would be perfect. Just slide down in my backpack. And then if I need to get to something, I can just pull it out. Or I can snap it up, right? And then just use it for the outer pockets and then some maybe paperwork or something on the inside. And then I'm not, it's not taking up as much space. But if you want it to take up more space, you just unsnap your sides. These are great. And for the price, you cannot beat it. I mean, I... I was a little leery at first. I've seen these at the Dollar Tree and I was like, oh, I don't, want, I don't need that poor quality, but the stitching is good. I mean, yeah, I cannot wait to put this in my backpack and put all the things in it. And I can also put like, if I'm traveling in my backpack, I can put heavier things at the bottom, you know, that I may not need to get to like my water bottle or a scarf or something and then slide this in top. Right, and then I can just reach in and grab it. And if I need something at the bottom, pull that out. I thought that was fan freaking tastic. And the last thing I got is this bag here, which I think is supposed to be like the Marc Jacobs bag, but it's just the tote bag. I don't know if it's a dupe or something, but it is heavy duty canvas. This is A1 quality canvas. It even has these two side straps to keep it from opening too far and filling up this way. So it's going to stop the overfill. You can also use it on this side to hang an umbrella or put your water bottle or hook something from it on this outside, but a carabiner or something. And then on the inside, you have a zipper. So you can close everything up. This is going to be my retreat bag when I go to Canada. And then you have a shoulder strap which is perfect. And then in here, this is also very solid canvas. And you have a big compartment here. 
at the top. Oh, I, I closed it. A nice zipper. A whole part compartment here to put things in. Snacks. It'll be my snacks. And then in here, my phone, my chargers, cables. And this is sturdy enough that it will hold my lamp, my mag light that I bring that weighs like three pounds, and my charging brick. And it's cute. You know, I'm assuming it's a dupe. That's kind of how I have to think about it. This is a really quality strap. It's not going to rip. And then you hook this on the inside, right? So the loops are actually on the inside of the bag. So if you do it right, I can zip it and carry it like that. So I would just like lay that over or whatever, you know, lay it that way and carry it like a messenger bag. They had them in all different sizes. I went with the large because I knew when I purchased it that I needed it to um, carry a lot of heavy, I'm trimming a thread here. Never pull your threads, folks. Always trim your threads. Um, I knew I would need something sturdy to carry the heavy stuff. I need to get a good thumbnail. And I'm feeling very bulky. Yeah, so I'm excited. Oh, and there's a hard bottom. It's not paper. It's not cardboard. It's layers. Yeah, it's layers of canvas, which feels like with a piece of plastic on the inside. But it's not. It's encased in. It's encased in canvas. I mean, this is. This is solid material. So I'm excited to use this because I need to bring with me to the to the stitching. Oh, it's only on the front that it says that. To the stitching room, I need to bring my bottle of water. I need to bring my coffee cup because there's coffee all day. Duh. I need to bring snacks. I need to bring my stitching and my charging cable or battery backup and my lamp and my cables and my phone. Yeah. That's probably it. Um, and should I bring my tiara? I think I'm wearing my tiara. Yeah, I think I'll wear my tiara for the first day of stitching. I think so. All right, guys. Well, that is everything. I hope you enjoy, and I will talk with you later.